Hey guys, it's Mike Chamberlain here and welcome back to the channel. Sorry it's been a couple of weeks since I've uploaded. Um, the weather's been really not great to do any vlogs outside, but um, anyways, no more excuses. Uh, behind me I have one of my latest builds for a customer, uh, TLC Logging, out of um, 100 Mile BC. And this thing is absolutely fantastic. Let me show it to you. It is a 389 long hood tri drive that uh, we changed the headlight pods on. Got a row of lights down there. We went to the old school headlight pods, put the speaker heated LEDs in there. We did some custom paint. This paint work was done right here at uh, Peterbilt Pacific's Body Shop in Prince George. Now, Many of you uh, Peterbilt lovers and knowledge guys know that the rivet line is not level, but um, yeah, so if you look up close, it doesn't follow the line perfect, which kind of drives me nuts, but when you stand back, then it's perfect. And look at that. Oh my gosh. Beautiful. Beautiful. So this truck is a heavy spec low bed tractor. So it has the big front end in it with four and a quarter front tires, 20,000 pound run front. We've got 12 gauge skirts with the penny lights, 100 gallon fuel tank under the driver's door. Okay. Shift air cleaner light bars, the penny lights so at night. Or actually during the day they reflect off your your air breather now we put the customer's name in the exhaust shield and uh, we backlit it you can kind of see it in behind there there's there's penny lights so at night the whole thing glows and it also signals we put a magnum step toolbox on free flight custom low bed tractor rig out they put their extra wide belting half fenders on. Custom free flight cab guard with, uh, with the LED bars. And this being a low bed tractor, it has a manual D sign. So to put up the D sign, you just pull this lever down, hook it in the bottom like that. And then if we come to the front of the truck, there's your D sign right up there it's fantastic because when you're low bedding all the time it's a pain in the butt to put your D sign on take it off and the nice thing with it being manual it's just super simple just pull the lever put it up clip it and it's all tucked in nicely behind the cab long slider this is actually an arctic trailer slider Kind of got the best of both worlds with a free flight rig out and an arctic slider we made ramps on the back for the for the jeep went with the beds hangers so they can come off because when you're low bedding and you're sliding the jeep up you'll probably rip those mud flaps off if you don't take them off tall pedestals this has got the 78,000 pound new way with disc brakes there's absolutely nothing cheap or half-assed on this rig out. The best of everything. We've got a 120 gallon tank on the driver's side. Of course, we got our chain hangers there. As I fall over a ice clump of snow, Beautiful. This is a 565 2050 Torque X15. And this thing also does have a, a two speed auxiliary transmission in it as well. Let's take a look inside.
leather drivers and passenger seat. This is a heated seat as well. Now this here is the auxiliary transmission. So right now it's in high, low, and we have a neutral position as well. So this truck uh, basically will just creep along if, if need be. Um, diff locks, front rear end, uh, um, center and rear diff lock. We've got an over inflation valve that we plumbed in um, to over inflate the rear suspension to make it easier for chaining up and stuff like that in the winter. Of course your air suspension dump, fifth wheel slider, and your interlock. Now this, this came from the factory actually in the middle, which was unacceptable, but that's why this spot here is, is missing a gauge. So we took and uh, took the gauge that was there and put it down here and moved this up there. And that's why it's like that. But um, I might take and see about adding another gauge there because that would just finish it off nicely. We've got the new concert class radio in there our Peterbilt Pacific floor mats, our 44 inch bunk, take a look out the back window, great view, yeah, gosh I love this thing. It uh, was driven from Denton so it's got 4,497 kilometers on it but um, but yeah I mean what more can you say? 389 long hood, heavy spec, 78,000 pound new way, 20,000 front, two speed auxiliary, 18 speed transmission. This is a beast. And I gotta tell you, it drives fantastic. Like I brought this back from uh, free flight when they rigged it out. And man, you just sit back and I know I've said it before, but if you look at how you sit, and this isn't even with moving the seat back, like further than the factory setting, which we quite often do, but like it is so comfortable to drive and and any of you guys that have never driven a, a 389 long hood do me one favor go to your local peterbilt dealer jump in one and just go for a drive because you will never find anything that cruises as nice as a 389 long hood don't get me wrong the new the new cabs the new trucks are are nice the the 579s and there is going to be a, a redesign for that coming out soon that I've I've seen and it looks really good um, and they're nice and they're comfortable and they're quiet but there's just nothing like a 389 in the traditional cab arm on the on the door freaking gear shift right here just yeah you just gotta love it and if you like that, well, except for the railway tracks and trains, but but I mean, look at that hood and the bird. Gosh, gotta love it. But yeah, this is it. TLC Logging's new 389 long hood uh, low bed tractor. Thanks for tuning in, thanks for watching, and I, uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to smash that like button. Please subscribe, and we will get you some more content soon. Thanks guys, talk to you soon, cheers.